Welcome to Academic Game Tutorials. In this video, we will look into the differences between gas shielding and flux shielding for arc welding. Arc welding is one class of fusion welding where the fraying surfaces of the base metals are melted by supplying heat through an electric arc. The arc is constituted between an electrode and the base metals, to prevent direct contact of atmospheric air with the melted and heated regions of the joint. A protective layer of inert gases is usually created surrounding the arc. This thick layer of inert gas acts as a shield or barrier between the weld pool and atmospheric air during the progression of welding. There are two conventional ways of creating such barrier around the arc, either through shielding gas or through flux. Both shielding gas and flux are essential elements of arc welding. While few arc welding processes utilize shielding gas, many other arc welding processes utilize flux. So, let's look into the basic differences between gas shielding and flux shielding for arc welding in a tabular form. Difference number 1, gas shielding produces only a gaseous protective layer surrounding the arc, whereas, flux-based shielding produces both gaseous protective layer surrounding the arc and liquid slag layer over the weld metal. Number 2, in gas shielding. No slag formation occurs over the weld metal when welding is carried out using shielding gas, whereas, in flux-based shielding, few ingredients of flux melt and mix with oxides and other impurities to produce slag. This slag floats over the molten weld metal. Number 3. Welding using shielding gas offers better visibility of the welding zone, whereas, welding using flux has poor visibility of the welding zone. Number 4. Gas shielding has low capability in altering the weld bead properties by diffusing chemical elements into the weld metal, whereas, flux is comparatively more efficient in altering the weld bead properties by diffusing chemical elements into the weld metal. Number 5. Gas shielding is relatively safer to the welder as it does not emit any fume, whereas, disintegration of flux produces flumes that are harmful to the welder. Number 6. In gas shielding, respiratory protections are usually not desired if workroom windows are open. However, protections for eyes, face, skin, feet, dress, etc. are essential as usual, whereas, in flux-based shielding, apart from other protections, welders need to wear respiratory protections, such as mask, even when workroom windows are open. Number 7. Welding by non-consumable electrode is carried out in presence of shielding gas only. However, presence of shielding gas does not necessarily mean that the electrode is non-consumable, whereas, flux-based welding processes always utilize consumable electrode. However, consumable electrode does not necessarily require flux. And, difference number 8, autogenous welding, that the welding is carried out without any filler metal can be carried out with shielding gas only, whereas, autogenous welding cannot be carried out in presence of flux.